Okay, folks, so I just arrived here in the Keys about two hours ago and really wasted no time. We're out here on one of the Florida Keys bridges right now doing something I did for my first time last year. This year, now that I'm more familiar with the uh, the whole subject of shrimp, I decided to come out here film a video for you guys, kind of a little how-to, a little tutorial video for you. I'm here with none other than the godfather of Florida Keys shrimp and himself, Ron Tiki. We'll give a few words for him in a minute. It's 11.30 right now. The goal for today is just to catch some shrimp, show you guys how it's done out here on the bridges. This video will teach you guys how to do it, so stay tuned. 16 feet in circumference. So I chose five foot six by two foot six. And the net is essentially a trawl. It's about 15 feet long with a bag here at the end. And it's all held closed by a long line clip. I took the ones they supplied off. I don't know how many times I've had the bag <laughs> full of shrimp in. and I go to pull it up oh, and the whole no. thing blows yeah, apart. Yeah. Okay, Doug, let's yep. lift her up and over. So what are these over here? There'll be two different ropes. One rope will lift the net out of the water, which will be this, and then there'll be a rope coming from the back side that hooks into this yoke harness that holds it static uh, in the current. Have you noticed any trend in uh, shrimp harvest in the past couple of years? You have been doing it for 13 years, right? A couple years ago wasn't too good. Last year, I only had one good night and that was by myself not a single soul was here and so far this year we had two bad trips and like i said that really super one a strong week ago so when you say i was a, a good trip a week ago i don't know how many shrimp because how many shrimp did you get that day well you're allowed five gallons per person so yeah i got all those and i could have got more i mean they just kept coming and coming and coming Bubble coming tonight 10 gallons you heard it here first 10 gallons to the target we'll see it's 11 30 now we've got probably uh about half an hour or maybe an hour or so before the tide starts switching to uh outbound from the gulf to the ocean and that's when we should be able to drop the nets in and get get the shrimp and underway so you're dropping the the back line in now correct that's just so it has a vertical presentation in the water. Oh my god. <laughs> you dropped right on top of a needlefish. Sometimes you'll see tarpon busting on the shrimp as they come through out here. And so folks, while you can shrimp fish any day of the year, 365 days of the year, the best time to come out here is on any cold front, especially during the winter, which is why I'm out here in January in a sweatshirt, in long pants. We've got a cold front that came through, dropped a bunch of snow on you guys up north. Down here we've got brisk, brisk cold front coming through, going from probably 80 degrees down to 70 as highs. So the strong northwest wind pushes the shrimp from the Everglades, where they grow up, out towards the ocean. Right now I'm seated on a bridge that goes from the Gulf of Mexico right there to the Atlantic Ocean behind me. That's pretty much it. All we try to do is just catch these shrimp while they're on their way passing through. And hopefully it works out for us tonight. We'll drop the nets over once the tide starts switching. And then, ideally, go home with a bunch of shrimp for bait and for human consumption. Ha <laughs> ha.
Yeah, uh, there's still some in here kicking. I can see there. I thought the night was double. And it warmed up. Yeah, Nine shrimp in the first hole. Nothing crazy, but it's a start. Ron does not seem satisfied. <laughs> uh, all rope work? Yeah. Oh, I hear them in there. Oh, yeah. There's some good sized ones right there. Yeah, you should have been here last week. You would. Yeah, I wouldn't have believed it, right? We uh, some of the first pulls of the night, solid shrimp, no no really? weeds. Wow. And a two thirds of a bucket full in one pull. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. That whole rope is nice. So there we go, guys. One o'clock update. Have probably three dozen shrimp in there. Better than nothing. I'm having a ton of fun out here. Even though we're not catching eight gallons, still fun just getting out here. Enjoying the fairly nice weather and just doing something not a lot of people can get, get to do out here, especially when they come down the Keys. Not a lot of people know this is a possibility. If you're up for a, a late night adventure on the bridge, come out here, go shrimping. Catch a little bit of dinner. The bigger ones are probably gonna use for, uh, for some dinner, satiate my stomach, but the smaller ones use for some bait fishing videos coming up later this week. Bag. Bag looked huge in the water. Yeah, Just a little right? bitty ass bag. I know, right? That'd be my luck. I hold like that and things go back in the water. My PB shrimp, personal best. That's probably a, a two ounce right there. We have got them as long as eight inches. Wow. So we have about 30 shrimp in here now, guys. This is our fourth pool. We have two nets. Not a cellar night, but I'm having a ton of fun out here just sifting through, picking up some shrimp. A little taste delicious, too. A little thrill. We got some bigger ones this time. Have one big one too. Yeah. Oh uh, my the, gosh! The yeah, the bacon eater. life in this hall. There's a little valley here right there with no tail. Another yeah. little bycatch right there guys, little file fish. So this is our best haul yet. We'll count up a shrimp. They probably have a couple dozen here at least. It's a decent size one still. Nice. Right, guys that's gonna be a wrap for this video here hopefully you enjoyed the video i hope you guys were able to learn something from this video as well try to make it pretty informative out there as informative as i could um ron like i said has been tripping off those bridges for 13 years 
He's had plenty of experience out there and really was kind of the perfect guy to teach me how he does it down there, especially in the winter when I kind of decided to travel down the Keys every year. At the end of that day, I believe we had 20 dozen shrimp, which is actually pretty good. It's 240 shrimp. It was plenty of shrimp for me to eat all week. We had a great dinner the next day. There's also plenty of shrimp to use for bait. The smaller ones, I froze, cut them up, put them on sabiki rigs, and caught plenty of bait fish that way. Yeah, guys, it's really a cool experience out there, kind of a novelty experience when you're out there on the bridges. You're, you're catching your own shrimp, which is something you can't really do everywhere. Key West Pinks is what they call the shrimp down there, and they're absolutely delicious. It's a bit hard to get the, the meat off the smaller ones, but when you get those big shrimp and even the medium-sized ones, they're, they're really, really good. So this is the first of my Florida Keys series. We have probably at least five more videos coming out of me, mostly just fishing the bridges down there, but they're all going to be fishing videos from here on out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the road trip video and the shrimping video as well. I'm going to sign out now, guys. If you did enjoy the video, if you could drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, I really, really appreciate that. I'm trying to grow the channel. I keep saying every video here. So every subscription matters. I appreciate it, guys. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Tight lines. See you when I see you.